Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Uh, good evening to all of you guys. Some of you guys watching in the morning. Uh, we had an insane video earlier today talking about the market crash. Um, a lot of the points that we talked about in there are super valid and I'm not going to mention all of them in this video because we've got a lot of other stuff to talk about in this video. Um, I'm going to put that link to that video in the top of the description below. Really just kind of going through and talking about this week. So much happened today and um, <clears throat> I actually started trading a little bit today too. So I want to walk you guys through a couple of the trades, uh, make it super easy for you guys to understand and accessible because this week we're going to be very trading focused on this channel. Uh, today EA re-released the 80 plus team of the week pack and we also got a brand new store pack. Now this store pack um, guarantees a team of the week player rated 81 or higher from week one to six and five gold rare players. Um, obviously you've got a 100% chance at a team of the week player. Um, and yeah, I don't think it's the best value because it's untradeable and it's 35k, but spending $5 on it. I guess I can understand that a little bit more when this is a $3.50 pack and this is just terrible. So, you know, value for the promo packs there. This one is actually okay. I'm going to be opening that on my second account on this video. We have a content account that we use. Um, I'm really kind of being careful with my coins here. So what I've done for you guys just to start the video today, um, I have made five of these. I just rinsed with all untradeables, so I didn't really spend any coins. Uh, and then, you know, if I really want to do the other five, we could do the other five at some point because you get 10. Uh, I thought this was going to come out on Tuesday or Monday, but I guess it's coming out today, uh, which is just a super random. I think that's going to be Timo Werner. I packed him four times this year now, and unfortunately, I think that's going to be a duplicate. I'm pretty sure I already have him, so we're going to probably have to send him to the discard pile. We don't use him at all, um, and right now, there's really just nothing to put him into. I guess I could recycle him into another one of these packs, but um, that's just kind of annoying. So we'll discard him. Guys, also, I think that might be a walkout. <gasps> Halland! Halland, please! Oh my god, Halland! Oh my god, Erling Haaland! I, I, I noticed it because I saw the numbers going up so much. Oh my freaking god. So guys, this is why I'm doing these. I've been doing these. Uh, I've done the first 20 of these. I didn't really get any great pulls. Dunaruma was the best. Oh my freaking god. We just packed Erling Haaland. That's insane. I saw it. I've packed Sorloth so many times this year. And I've seen the numbers going up uh, for, for Sorloth in a certain way. But I noticed this one was a walkout, which is funny because Sorloth is also a walkout. But then the numbers started moving a little bit faster. That is like one of the craziest polls. Oh my god. So I packed Mbappe on the first day of this game. I've done an 80 plus team of the week. And we've gone ahead and packed ourselves in form Erling Haaland. Um, potentially one of the most jammy cards in the game. Um, I think he was 600k before the market crash. I mean he's still 500,000 coins. That's like in this market that is such an insane poll. Um, oh my god. That is just incredible. 94 strength as well. 95 finishing. We've got to throw him into the team uh, tomorrow for foot champs. That is insane. Wow. Drop a thumbs up if you guys enjoy that. That was crazy. I I'm over the moon with that poll. That is insane, insane, insane. I'm so happy with that. I think that's also a walkout. Uh, France, Ben Yedder. Oh, my God. And... Yo, just for a second, some people watching thought that was Mbappe. I know you guys thought that was Mbappe. I completely forgot Mbappe's even in these, but Griezmann is not bad. I actually have read Ben Yedder, so that's why I thought it was going to be Ben Yedder because of dupe theory. Um, no, nah, Griezmann is not bad at all. This pack comes in at 14,000 coins, guys. Uh, so make of that what you want. I used in tradables. That one is not a walkout. That is going to be Traore. So 81. Um, and I've been doing these kind of every time EA releases them. That's a dupe. No way. Yeah, so I've got to start to figure out where I'm going to put my informs because they are kind of quickly, like, as you saw, out of, you know, obviously, who cares? We got Howard, right? First of all. But we're getting some dupes now. That's a walkout, maybe. France? Mbappe, please. No! Oh, I've been trolled twice. It makes me want to do them more, to be honest. Uh, I've got five left. I'll probably do them another day. We've got Giroud here. That's nice because we don't have him. Um, I have been doing these a lot. If you guys go ahead right now and, and and i would totally recommend guys if you can craft those with some fodder do them uh because i really feel like at some point later in the year team of the week is going to go up a lot we should get a lot of those party bags so you guys can see through me doing these so far i've had donnarumma cruz Haaland. i've had quite a bit of dupes but you'll start to notice i've used a couple in some sbcs um triore correa i actually didn't get out of that and then you can see most of the players we got are right here guys i've sorted by untradeable so we've got about like 20 to 30 informs just ready to offload so i try to do these if 
you know, the fodder in my club is available and I am able to do it, but I'm so over the moon with that Howland pull. That is insane. Um, yeah, before we do anything related to this account, because I want to talk a lot about the market. Obviously, you guys really enjoy the video today and there's some more stuff to talk about. I'm just going to switch over to my content account and uh, test out that that um, that quick little 35k pack for you guys. I just want to say thank you to everybody for watching the videos. I'm glad you guys enjoy them. Um, I'm trying to post on the weekends um, just a little bit more informational content. I know a lot of times in the weeks like we have packs or we have like excerpts from the streams um, and I'm trying to do a couple of videos in the weeks kind of um, with some some more interesting content. We've got World Cup coming around so there's going to be a lot of different content coming to the channel. I'm very excited for that and uh, I'm very motivated to kind of get back into trading like I was up at 3.8 mil a week ago or two weeks ago and then Player of the Month Messi came out. I did that. I got down to 3.2. I, I did some risks, like I did the store pack on Friday for 100k. I've just been making some bad decisions, and I've been losing coins on my team. And it's really just all added up to be quite a negative. So I'm trying to win the coins back. We're going to grind that out. I don't know what this means because I just got, what, an 84? So I'm pretty sure that means the inform is going to be lower rated than the gold. I'm not sure. What does that mean for this pack? Okay, so that is exactly why I'm not going to be doing this pack on my main account because I don't think it's worth it. That is obviously terrible. An 82 inform. It's all untradeable as well. So there's like absolutely no point to that. So that is completely reaffirming. Is that even the right word here? Confirming why I'm not going to be doing this pack on my main account because it's time to start saving coins. We've got to stop being an idiot um, and we've got to focus. So back to the dancing dog, back to the main account we go. Now EA today dropped quite a bit of content. There were some things that were dropped today um, that was, I guess, a little bit unexpected. So first of all, we got mid Eto today. Now there's been this crazy market crash with icons happening. Um, you know, so this is the craziest part, right? Eto was 1.4 mil before today. Um, he was like rebounded back to 1.3. Then his SBC came out, he went down to 105 and he's back up to 117. So just for you guys watching that want to know another trend, a lot of time when EA releases an icon SBC, they will drop for a couple hours and then they will start to rise as people stop selling. It's not necessarily because the card starts like going up out of demand. It's just because the listings expire, the panic stops and there's a rebound. And I'm going to tie this to another thing, but they've dropped his SBC today and he's at 955,000 coins. Now, the reason you're seeing 66% upvote right there, there is a reason. And the reason is that there is quite a bit of time available to complete this card. Um, you have 31 days, and this is gonna land under the Black Friday promo, all of the World Cup promo, which I'm assuming people are gonna get a ton of fodder from. Um, and yes, yeah, so bronze, silver, um, you've got the 83, the 84, the 86, 87, 87, 88, 89, and you can use foot champs items. And for the 89, you've got a tradable mega, you've got a tradable 25, a tradable uh, 20. So 30, sorry. So even with like, you know, doing this whole thing uh, from scratch at 955k, you're probably going to get at least like 100k back, 100k back from packs. Um, and potentially also like, you know, you're going to be crafting this a little bit. So I do understand why people really do like this card. I think Eto is good. I think Eto becomes outdated very quickly uh, when it comes to like February. Uh, but I think this is a card that you really can use and it is a great icon. Um, he's got incredible reactions. He's got really, really good shooting, 95 attack positioning, and he's got all of the important traits, right? As an attacker this year, you really need finesse shot. You really need outside foot to be like top, top tier. And I really feel like Eto um, really is that. So this is a really nice card. And for once, we've actually seen EA put a discount on the market. And it's not actually a discount. And I say that because there's going to be a lot more panic. I think Eto on the market could go down to like a mil in the next week or two. So it's good that EA are kind of factoring the price and the correction. And also, you know, it's interesting that this is his mid version because I'll say this. There's no Prime, I Prime Icon moments this year. There's just going to be Prime Icon. So this is technically, you know, you look at like last year's game. You know, this is going to be the Prime. And then that, you know... You know, the one that's coming out uh, when primes come out in January is going to be the moments. Now, there's going to be prime moments or some of those included in promos, but I think they're going to save that for like the summer. So I don't think we're going to see, uh, I think we're going to see a main focus on primes till like April once they're released in January. So this is going to have a little bit longer value, I think, this year um, than a potentially, you know, last year FIFA. So I do really like the selection. I think it's a really nice card. Um, and yeah, GG to EA for that. Now I did get my daily login done. I think there's probably another one today. Um, in milestones, there was actually two cards that were released today. Um, and Duncan was like a legend in FIFA. I think it was 20 or 21. I think it was 21. Um, he was a legend. I loved him. I had a storyline card, very good card. Um, good passing, good all around stats. 
I guess the issue you you could argue here is number one, link ability is going to be tough with the new chemistry system, and um, you know, yes, you also have another card here uh, that you know kind of looks okay, um, but it's just like, you know, this card on the market would he be expensive? I'm not sure he'd be that expensive. Um, probably twenty thousand coins, twenty five thousand coins, and the grind you're going to have to put in to get this. You know, you you are going to have to win eight rivals matches. Um, you know, once you unlock this player in your squad. So it's not going to be the easiest. And that's why, you know, I, I feel like my take on objectives is I'll tell you when I feel like they're really worth it. I haven't really seen one in the last couple of days that I'm like, okay, that card, like you got to get that card done. Um, but, you know, I'm not going to judge anyone. And if you guys want to go and grind those cards, by all means, go do it. Um, don't let me stop you. Now, let's talk about the market. Let's talk about trading because we were down bad today. We've made a lot of coins today. Specifically today, I don't know if there's a way to see like a daily leaderboard on the transfer values because I was, I was I made a lot of coins today, basically. Long story short, and I'll tell you how. So there was a lot of panic today when I recorded my video this morning and middle of the day. And I started noticing, uh, hey, you know, let me let me sell some of the cards I had earlier, which I did. I got together all my coins. I took some really, really nasty losses, right? Barella, I bought at 89K. I showed you guys that. That's a 30K loss. Ben Yedder, I bought at 145. This is like a 40K loss. Took some nasty losses today. Had to do it, though, to get some coins into the bank. So basically what I did was I looked at some heroes today, and I was also trading some icons. So what really sparked the motivation for me was I was on the icon basic filter, which shows you um, the cheapest uh, or the, sorry, the, the most recently listed cards that come onto the market. So I sniped the Vieira for one five. I think it was one five six. Now he's back down to one six two. So he's really low. I sold this card like eight hours ago. I just saved the sale so you could see it. Now he was one eight seven yesterday and he, he fell off a cliff. This is exactly where I bought him. And he's so rare and so important in, in like pro meta card that he rebounded so well. So I was able to make like, I think that's like 75 K at least on him. Um, and I did the same. There was some just crazy panic today. Desai was like 520 yesterday. I bought this card at 415 today. Flipped him at 470. Didn't get greedy. And I actually should have with some of these cards. I'll explain why. Sol Campbell bought this at 240. Hugo Sanchez 160. You could do it on all budgets because you guys, you know, Sukar yesterday was like 155. I saw him dropping really hard today and I got a 510k undercut at 130. I sold him at 142. So if you're on a lower budget, you know, both of these are like seven and a half thousand coins. And then I got this Drogba, which I sold too early. He's back up to 800. He had like eight cards. I'm convinced that EA are putting cards on the market. When I bought this card fresh at 680, there was seven others and then he just disappeared and he was 900 yesterday. So he's back up to 800. I've missed out on like 60K here, which is brutal. But you take the 25K, you run. Now, something I looked at today was some heroes and I noticed that heroes were just getting destroyed today, like midday. They were getting hammered on the market. And I looked at Joe Cole because I know Joe Cole is such a popular hero. He's back up to 180. Um, and he was 230 yesterday. This morning he was 200, and this is exactly where I bought him. Actually, right here. I was lifting. I was working out. I saw Joe Cole at this price. I sniped a bunch of my phone. I actually sniped him for 159 when he was 167. Nobody was buying him, uh, and there was also more panic after the content when EA dropped his 35k pack in the store. So I just went big balls. I bought like six Joe Coles at 158 to 161. This was my best move today. Tax on this is like seven and a half thousand coins. He rebounded back, guys, because, well, the selling had to stop. And that was the thing. He was down so much already. It's a rare card, not on the rarity of an icon, but a card that a lot of people are using, Premier League links, and not a ton of tax. So really, when I got those snipes at that price, I was like, how much lower can he go? Because the, the listings just kept coming, and notice they kind of stopped. So I bought six of him. We're probably looking at 15 to 20K a card. This was some really good profit. Um... So this is going to get me a backup to about 100K, which is going to cover basically my Barella and Ben Yedder loss, if not a little bit more. And then here's where I choked, right? Smaller Wreck, I remembered when the Hero Pack came out, was such a rare card. Such a rare card. And I choked because he's rebounded back to 265. And basically what happened was when Joe Cole went back to 180, Al Oweron and, and Smaller Wreck, they did not, like, they were not back up. They were up a little bit. So I just didn't want to get greedy because basically I'm very worried in this market that when the rebounds happen, you have to take them. And that's where I've been a little bit surprised. Like, I know Al Oweron is a popular card, but even with his card, he's back to 214. And I've missed out on, again, 55K. So I really didn't maximize the profit today. I need to be a little bit more patient. I've got to kind of shake that rust off because I wasn't patient with these rebounds. When, when Joe Cole got back up to 185 and I noticed that these cards didn't, I got worried because I've had past experiences where, 
you know, if other cards of the same card type aren't rebounding, usually that means they're going to drop soon. And I just feel like right now in the market, people are so scared to buy that I'm just a little bit nervous. So when the money's there, you take it, right? And so for these, I bought these at 195. I actually lost coins on these. And then smaller rec, I bought a 230 no 240 so i lost coins on those so it was a, it was a fun day on the market overall we made coins which was good we started to recover the losses a little bit um and so that's why now we're going to kind of talk about the future we're going to look ahead because obviously today we got the team of the week pack which means that you know tomorrow might hold something different now i've gone ahead i, I bought a petite and to be honest right now a lot of icons stop rebounding and i think it's because a lot of people are logging off for the night so right now i've got stuck with a nest on a petite um and baby petite yesterday was 240 it's a very stable card and you know on this card now i'm going to be trying to kind of look to break even or make just a couple thousand i thought he was going to be able to rise back to 220 and he didn't he didn't at all so also uh we've got a shevchenko and we've still got some lautaros we got to flip those we got to take the money on those um so this morning we were talking about 84s now 84s went up a ton today so that's what i was telling you guys to stock them uh, when I was, you know, recording my video this morning and they went up to 3,200. I think they're going to go higher tomorrow. So if you're watching this video and you want to take a little bit of a risk, I think there's a chance that they will go up like a couple hundred coins tomorrow. Now, anyone who's watching this video has more than like 200 K. I wouldn't buy them because it's just going to be tedious. And I think it's only going to be like two to 400 coin profit. But if you're interested, you want to try to, you know, check out a couple I think it's a no risk because this 80 team of the week pack is out and more people will do it. I think we've got some potential squad butter rewards at some point. I don't know when, but those might be Sundays. So a lot of times Sunday morning, we do see, you know, the market doing nice as well and more people playing weekly. Something to note though, tomorrow specifically, we do have, um, we do have some games on. We've got some pretty big games tomorrow on, by the way, MLS cup today was crazy. I was just watching that. That was insane. So really where I'm looking next is I'm trying to be careful, right? I'm trying to stick towards you know, when I'm trading and kind of going through here, tomorrow's content should be, you know, usually a mini release. So there, there's no mini release this week. So they'll probably just, you know, drop some sort of SBC. I don't know if it's going to be an icon. We got that today. I'm sure it'll be a player SBC. You know, EA had said on Friday, I don't know if it's still in the news tab, that they're going to be doing this out of position thing where they're going to still drop cards. So maybe we're going to see one of those cards tomorrow. But I think, I think we're going to have a little bit of a rebound into tomorrow and Monday. That's just kind of how I'm feeling. So I'm probably going to start to look at some cards that are out of packs. And I think, to be honest, you could do well with some golds. Um, I think golds, for the most part, are probably, you know, still heading down if they're a top tier. And look right now, you've got the majority of people logging off for the night. Um, Mbappe, we looked at him this morning at 1-3. He went down to 1-2-6. He went back up to 1-3-2. And look what's happening. He's dying again. And this is what I'm telling you guys. These cards are going to keep dying. Golds are going to keep dying. I looked at Neymar an hour ago. He's 435k Neymar is now 414 so these cards are dropping I think a lot of these golds are going to keep dropping into the nighttime um I think we'll see a nice rebound with them in the morning but it's going to be very hard for you to time you know the buy time what I will tell you is that the peak time here you guys can see um my computer is uh in uh I believe it's in UK time the peak time every day is like for the gold metas if there's no panic for an SBC it's usually like um but this might no this is not in uk time is it uh no it's not in uk time but the peak time every day is for me um 11 you know like like 12 in the you know in the middle of the day so that's like 5 uk 4 uk that's when like the mass volume of users are on and the least supply now you could argue that most people log on after 1 p.m uh but a lot of times after 1 p.m there's some supply so that's why sometimes the market drops. So really, when you take a look at like these golds, you'd be looking at like Dembele. You'd be looking at Mendy. I think Mendy is great. Like I was buying Mendy the other day for my team for like 80K, right? So, you know, he he was, you know, what was he? Last night he was 53, he goes up to 60. He goes down to 50 after content. He goes back to 54. But now it looks like he's dropping again. And we can kind of, we can kind of tell that by Mbappe's trend right now. Um, we can tell by Mbappe's trend at the moment that you know cards are starting to go down again into the nighttime so i think you'll have some opportunity here whether it's out of packs whether it's golds um to make some coins tomorrow i think the market will be okay in the morning hey it's also impossible to tell you you know we could wake up to some dumpster fire in the morning where you know everybody's selling everything again that could very well happen so it's got to be one of those things where you got to invest at your own risk but in terms of like an roi i mean i know you guys see me trading a lot of these icons and stuff 
And these are great, right? I've just showed you, I've made like 15 to 20K on some of these flips. But in terms of like pure ROI, your best moves are gonna be the players that are out of packs and these meta golds, because these guys are gonna have the best potential swings in value. So, you know, Mendy, for example, when he's 53K this morning, right? And he goes up to 60. What you're really looking at with Mendy, just, to, just this is just an example of today. When he was 50K last night, or 51 and he goes up to like 58 59 today you know when you're when he's 50 or 51 you're really sitting there trying to snipe at 48 49 and when he's 59 you're like listing a little lazy at 60. so your margins are huge there right so when i make profit you know 15k on a 200k icon if you nail a trend with mendy there you're making like 40 to 50 if you invest in four or five Mendy's for the same price of that icon. And that's why, you know, meta golds are very good at market crash. And we can see right now, you guys can see by the listings, even though they're getting bought, the Mendy is dropping, right? So cards are starting to drop again and the buyers are going to get off the market tonight and the seller is going to be there. So you're, what you're really hoping for into the overnight periods, and this goes for the whole entire week, guys, because we're going to have this panic leading up to this promo all week. And then we're also going to have, you know, this promo is going to happen. And then we're also going to have start having a panic the week after for Black Friday. So I think it's good that you guys start to learn some of these trends and really how to take advantage. Most times at nighttime, you know, these cards are dropping because the volume of users is getting off. It's really not that complicated. Um, Rudiger, I sold for, I think, like 68K for my qualifiers. So he goes last night from 52 to 59. He's, this is like a great card. Mendy, I mean, Real Madrid links, like with the way Kem is this year, meta players. Um, you know, it's interesting to see Vasquez at 50K. I talked about him this morning because, you know, he was going up. He's still going up. So this is telling me that this card has a lot of demand. I'll be looking at this card for like 46, 47. And really what Vasquez is teaching me is that if anyone plays for like Real Madrid, uh, or any team or club that really is linking a lot of these important like meta defenders invest in them because I think Vasquez is good but I think the main reason he's really gone up like 8k out of packs already the links right so many people use Rudiger so many people use Militao Courtois um, the list goes on Benzema Mendy so there's so many players on Madrid that people are fitting into their teams that Vasquez is great for the link I think once you get three players uh, from the same team into your squad that you get the chemistry link. I could be wrong, but I think that's kind of how chem works. And now, you know, we've got a we've got a new we've got a legend in town. We've got a new legend in town. Wow, I can't believe we got Highland. I'm so excited still about that. Um, we've got to kind of figure out how we're gonna get the the links going. We're gonna probably have to go prem uh, for the rest of the weekend. I think that's gonna be the play. So I'm gonna have to redo my team. Um, but yeah, guys, that's the market. You know, for me, I, I'm not right now. I'm not gonna buy any cards. I think the last thing we should talk about is heroes. I think heroes are gonna be so great to trade um, because I think. With that pack coming out on Friday, you're going to have days leading up to that pack where there's just going to be people deciding they're going to sell back and forth. I think this is going to continue to happen um, because I think people are just looking forward to that pack, man. I, I really do. And I've, 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 I've really, really, you know, done poorly with Smaller Rec because this guy went up a ton. I really sold on that. Um, I'm disappointed in myself. But also another thing with Heroes too to, to kind of like consider, right? They get rare at night. So when you see like a ton on the market in the day, if the car has demand, they're going to go back up. For example, I've got to buy that Joe Cole because he's actually going up. He has no cards at 180 right now. What was I just looking at? 185, 184, no cards. So that's even a good, like, yeah, that's even a good, that's a good price. 176. We've got to look at that smaller record. Yeah, I know we got the live trading going right now. Is that smaller record getting bids? No, we're going to bid on it. Okay, his cheapest is like 270. So, you know, also you, you take a look at, you know, in this market, a lot of times right now, you know, there's, we got this like dead market, right? Not a lot of people on. So, you know, you could also consider doing some icon bids. I think that's good. This Joe Cole is not great profit, but I should be able to sell it for close to 190. It looks like he's rising. So that'll be like 5k. Um, oh, I thought that we didn't get outbid. And I was like, what did I just sell? So yeah, there's a lot of ways to make coins. You know, you can really do it on any budget. Um, the ROI, which is return on investment that I think is actually the most interesting, um, is going to be the super, super like cheaper um, team of the weeks. So that's really where I would be looking. So what's really interesting to see is that Correa is down to like 65. I just saw him flipping that he was 63. Uh, he was 61. So you can see he rebounded back to 65. So there's going to be trends with all of these guys. You're just going to really have to put in the work and the knowledge guys to really nail the trend and, and make some coins. Um, we'll talk about this team of the week tomorrow, but I think that uh, let's see how Benton core did today with the trend. Did he go up today? So he was 39 last night, 46, uh, 38. I, I think there's something to like there for sure with him. 
around like 35, 36. I don't know if you can really go wrong there. It's just going to be how hard or not it is to snipe him. But I will try to pick up one or two of him to invest in. Mane is a little bit of a weird one. I'm not sure if he's going to do well. Um, but he's 250k, which also... You know, that price generally has been really surprising. Um, the team of the week this week is weird, though. I mean, last week I made a mistake where I bought too early. But really what I'm seeing is that people are using Bentoncourt, right? That's a huge, huge rebound this morning uh, for him to go from, uh, for him to go from, you know, the price that he did all the way up. He went from like, what, 39 to 48. I mean, that's like a crazy, crazy uh, spike. So I think the main reason, too, is a lot of people are not opening their rewards um this week right so there's going to be more of a rarity on the market with this team of the week i'm done rambling incredible video tonight guys thanks for watching the video see you guys later peace